Hello, this is Scoo with another episode of Scoo's Whiskey Minute. Uh, today we're going to talk a little more about bourbon. Uh, in our last bourbon episode, we talked very basically about what bourbon is. Uh, I want to talk to you more about what you're looking at when you're shopping for bourbon. Uh, when you go to a liquor store, especially a good liquor store, you might see a whole wall of bourbons. And there could be a dozen or more, 20, 25 bourbons on the wall, uh, which would lead the reasonable person to think, wow, there must be huge numbers of bourbon distilleries. Uh, but in fact, uh, there are only nine major bourbon distilleries, Kentucky bourbon distilleries. Um, there are some micro distilleries now producing bourbon, but they're very small and have pretty limited distribution generally. So there are only nine distilleries making bourbon. So why are there so many bourbons on the shelf? Well, there are two reasons. Uh, the first is that each of these distilleries has multiple brands that it produces. It puts out bourbon under many different labels. Uh, some of them, some of them don't. We'll go through that. Second is there are also what we call in the whiskey world independent bottlers. These are companies that buy barrels of bourbon from the distillers and put it in bottles and put their own labels on it and sell it as their own label. So it's from another distiller, but it has its own label and you can't tell from the label uh, that it's not from one, that it's from one of the distillers. For instance, Black Maple Hill. If you go to Kentucky, you look for the Black Maple Hill distillery, you won't find it because it doesn't exist because Black Maple Hill is a, is a bottler. It buys bourbon from other distillers and puts it in their bottles and puts the Black Maple Hill uh, label on it. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Sometimes they age it for a long time. They, 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 they manipulates the flavors. They put out different uh, different styles, but it's bourbon made by someone else. And it's uh, I find it annoying that they don't tell you when it's made by someone else. In the world of scotch, uh, they also have independent bottlers, but the independent bottlers usually tell you who the whiskey is made by. So it'll say this is a Murray McDavid bottling of Lafroy whiskey. It'll tell you where the whiskey's made. In bourbon, they won't do that, the independents. Um, but, and so popular independents are, are Michter's, um, Rowan's uh, Creek, Noah's Mill, uh, and Black Maple Hill. There are many others as well, but those are independent bottlers of bourbon. Let's go back to the distilleries. I'm going to go through each distillery and talk about it a little bit. And as I said, there are nine distilleries, but they are um, owned by only uh, I think five or six companies because several companies own multiple distilleries. Uh, so let's talk about them. The, the first and the biggest is, is Jim Beam. Beam Global, which is a subsidiary of Fortune Brands. Uh, Jim Beam is, of course, the best-selling bourbon in the United States, in the world, really. Um, and uh, they make Jim Beam uh, at their Jim Beam distilleries in, in uh, Kentucky. They also make uh, Old Grandad bourbon. Uh, they make rye whiskey under the Old Overholt and Rye One labels. And aside from the Jim Beam, the Jim Beam distillery, they also own Maker's Mark. Yeah, which makes Maker's Mark. Uh, so they own, the Jim Beam Company owns two distilleries. Uh, then there's Brown Foreman. Brown Foreman is another Kentucky distillery. At the Brown Foreman distillery, they make uh, Early Times Kentucky Whiskey and Old Forester, very popular uh, bourbon. Uh, but they also own the old uh, uh, Woodford Reserve distillery, uh, the old Broughton Graham, and uh, they make Woodford Reserve out of there. And they own, in neighboring Tennessee, Jack Daniels. Uh, so Brown Forman actually has three whiskey distilleries. Two of them are bourbon distilleries. Um, Four Roses is another Kentucky distillery. They are owned by the Curing Company, the Japanese beer company. Uh, all of the stuff they make comes out under the, under the Four Roses label. So generally, uh, the stuff that they're bottling themselves, I should say, is Four Roses. They actually also make the popular Bullet Bourbon, but that's made by them for Diageo, another company. All these corporate ties get twisty and, and difficult to follow sometimes. Um, and Four Roses only is the one distillery, again, owned by Curing. Um, then there is the good old Wild Turkey. It's owned by Campari, the Italian drinks company, who recently purchased it from Pernod Ricard, a French drinks company. Um, like every other business in the United States, whiskey is run by multinational corporations. Uh, Wild Turkey, most of what they make is labeled Wild Turkey, although they now have uh, Russell's Reserve, which used to be labeled Wild Turkey, and now it just says Russell's Reserve, bourbon and rye, but it is indeed Wild Turkey. Uh, the next distillery company is the Sazerac Company. Sazerac is a New Orleans-based company that uh, owns Buffalo Trace, which is their, their uh, whiskey distillery business. Uh, and the Buffalo Trace distillery is one of the most loved by bourbon aficionados. Uh, and they make, they are one of these distilleries that makes whiskey under all kinds of labels. I mean, Buffalo Trace makes uh, Blanton's, uh, Rock Hill Farms, 
George T. Stagg, the famous George T. Stagg, Eagle Rare, uh, Van Winkle and Pappy Van Winkle, uh, W.L. Weller. Uh, they make uh, Virginia Gentleman, which is made with their uh, a Virginia distillery. They own it's a Virginia bourbon, uh, the A. Smith Bowman Distillery in Virginia. Uh, they make Old Charter and Buffalo Trace, the uh, bourbon with Buffalo Trace uh, on the label, as well as Sazerac Rye, Thomas Handy Rye, and, and others. They have a huge number of brands, but they're all made by Buffalo Trace. In addition to their Buffalo Trace distillery, they recently bought the old Barton distillery, uh, also known as the, now as the Tom Moore distillery, which is a smaller distillery that mostly makes bourbon that's distributed in uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, called Very Old Barton. It's one of their more popular labels. It's a great, very affordable bourbon, but you have to live there to get it. Uh, the only bourbon they have, the bourbons they have that are, that are more widely distributed are uh, Ten High and, uh, which is a little bottle of here, Ten High, and um, uh, 1792 Ridgemont Reserve. Uh, so those are the two distilleries that are owned by uh, Buffalo Trace. So that's, we have the two by Brown Foreman, one for Roses, two owned by Jim Beam, two by Buffalo Trace, Wild Turkey, and that leaves the ninth one, Heaven Hill. Heaven Hill is the only family-owned distillery, still family-owned, not corporate-owned, in Kentucky. And like Buffalo Trace, they make a wide variety of labels uh, released as Heaven Hill. Uh, in fact, there is a Heaven Hill whiskey, but you don't see it very much. So it, it, they're most known as probably Evan Williams, which I have a little mini of here. Evan Williams, but they also make uh, the Elijah Craig bourbon. They make uh, Parker's Heritage Collection, which is an excellent higher-end bourbon, which I have a bottle of here. Uh, they make Rittenhouse Rye, Old Fitzgerald bourbon. Uh, they make this Pikes Little Rye, which I have here. It's also an excellent low-cost rye. Um, and this uh, Burnham wheat whiskey, a straight wheat whiskey. They make a wide variety of things. They also make a lot of corn whiskey. If you've ever seen those strange little mason jars of Georgia Moon corn whiskey, that's a Heaven Hill product as well. So Heaven Hill makes a, a, a wide variety of brands as well. So as you're looking at those brands at the store, you know, you could see 20 of them and they could all be either Heaven Hill or Buffalo Trace. So if you want more information over on the blog, reasoneats.blogspot.com, I actually have a list of every distillery in the United States making whiskey, including the micros. There's probably between 50 and 75 distilleries. It includes all the Kentuckys as well as the Tennessees. Uh, and I also tried to list all the independent bottlers and all the brands they use. So if you ever see a bourbon on the shelf, you're not sure what it is, go over to whiskey, uh, to uh, Reese Neats and look at my complete list of uh, American whiskey distilleries. It is on the left-hand column of the blog under the whiskey FAQs. And I hope that that will be helpful to you when you're shopping for your bourbon and American whiskey. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time on Whiskey Minute. Cheers.